In simple words, automobile chassis is a complete vehicle without a body. It is just like a complete human without dress and one should not get confused with frame and chassis. Frame is like a human skeleton whereas chassis is a human without dress. Chassis can be classified based on engine location, assembly, frame and wheels. Based on engine location, we have conventional chassis, semi forward chassis, full forward chassis, center engine chassis and finally we have rear engine chassis. Based on assembly, we have conventional chassis, integral chassis and semi integral chassis. These are some of the most popular chassis based on frame. But one should never forget that frame is part of chassis. Now let us understand each chassis separately. Conventional chassis. In this type of chassis, engine is fitted in front of the driver cabin making the driver seat quite far from the front axle or front tire. Due to this, driver is unable to see the road just in front of the tires and also the portion of the chassis where engine is fitted can't be utilized for carrying passengers or goods. Semi forward chassis. Here engine is fitted in such a way that half of it is in driver's cabin and remaining half is in front of the driver's cabin. The portion of chassis where engine is fitted inside driver's cabin can be utilized. Full forward chassis or bus chassis. While here complete engine is mounted inside the driver's cabin and driver sits just above the front wheels and is able to see the road just in front of the tires completely. Center engine chassis or mid engine chassis. In this type engine is mounted in between front wheels and rear wheels. Since the weight of the car shifts under acceleration, this arrangement further improves wheel grip and car body can be designed with greater aerodynamic efficiency. Rear Engine Chassis Here, engine's center of gravity is behind the rear wheels and one should not get confused with center of gravity of the whole vehicle and center of gravity of the engine. This type of chassis can be mostly observed in low floor bus chassis since the engine is located at the extremity, the rest of the vehicle can be used for luggage and passengers. Next, we shall see some classifications based on assembly. Conventional Chassis the longitudinal members or side members are joined by four or five cross members over which all the body and all other components are installed. Secondly, integral chassis. This type is also called as frameless chassis. The body shell and underbody are welded into a single unit which helps in decreasing the overall weight. Due to the elimination of longer frame, it is cheaper. The only disadvantage is its difficulty to repair. Next, we have semi-integral chassis. In this type, engine is mounted on a frame and rest of the portion is frameless so that when the vehicle meets with accident, only front portion can be repaired. We shall discuss other classifications in the next video. Meanwhile, I want to tell you that I will follow this plan and this is the layout on which I am going to prepare my videos.